We're live in San Juan at Lupin headquarters, and you can definitely feel the excitement in the air here tonight. You know, this speech couldn't have been timed more perfectly. All these people gathered here for a Thanksgiving feast will now watch the president speak together. It is clear to these people that what he has to say will greatly impact the lives of undocumented immigrants living in the Rio Grande Valley. Este grupo needs to have this documentation and needs to prove this. It's a moment organizers at La Unión de Pueblo Entero in San Juan have long waited for. When the president announces it tonight, it'll still be a, um, it'll still be a while, we think. They know whatever President Barack Obama says tonight will have a lasting impact on families in the Rio Grande Valley. And we're very hopeful that it's going to be good for our community. At the same time, we really worry. The president is expected to announce an order that would defer deportation for up to 5 million immigrants in the country illegally. A large portion of the undocumented immigrants in the valley depend on Lupe for immigration advice and legal counsel. Martha Sanchez with Lupe says they expect to see their clientele double or even triple. All of us um, really preparing to have all the right information to, uh, to do the best uh, work possible. This morning, Lupe leaders met to prepare for what's to come. We have a lot of stuff. They are really we're going to study what every what the requirements are going to be. What are, what are we going to who's going to be coming in? Who's going to qualify? They are also preparing to fight back with the possibility that the president will increase security forces along the border. We are going to be um, having a lot of more uh, a lot more militarization and that transfer to a lot of damage to our community. The announcement is not a complete fix to what many call a broken immigration system, but to many in the valley. It is hope that they will no longer live in fear of being deported from a country they now call home. Again, about 100 people have gathered here, and we are expecting more people to come. I wanted to mention that Lupe does have three offices. They do say that if they do get an overflow of people coming in, they do plan to open up two more locations. For now, live in San Juan, Nadia Galindo, Action 4 News.